Welcome back to the channel guys. Against all odds, we are here. Jason's getting the death trap on strap, as well as the Camaro got the Equinox unloaded already. So we're gonna go ahead. At this point, we're not sure about the rain or anything, but we're gonna get unloaded. We gotta do the valve lash on both motors and do a few other checks on them. Probably get the burnout tires and stuff on the Camaro as well. So we'll go ahead and get these unloaded and start the process. Mmm, there was some juice, Jason. Mmm. Right now? Yeah. More than that. Yep. This is a big block, you know. made it we're here in front of the burnout pad which we were just scoping out checking out the one and only killer b mm, i don't know you think he's any kind of competition to us a little bit i think there might be a small threat there <laughs> but yeah looks good nice big old 1471 little field blower on there he's got a little more power than we do but yeah Maybe later the hood will be opened up or something. We we'll take a better look, but got the old Pro Bandit shifter, race pack. Looks good. We'll see how she does today in the pad. I think he said he's going to run it quite a few times. Honestly, I think he's going to run it two, three times before, and he's going to run it in the middle as well, and then probably again at the end. Again, trying to beat the rain and stuff before it comes in, so we'll be starting here early. It's currently eh, about 12.10. We're still waiting on a computer for Jason, so worst case, we're gonna have to rob the Dominator out of mine, and we'll have to run that, and then we'll have to switch it back into mine, so. All right, I'm not sure what we're gonna do next, but if somebody comes out maybe to the test pad or something, we'll uh, maybe get some footage of that. <laughs> Jason wants his window down, that doesn't go down, so he's getting ready to pull up there for the open class and we got everything fueled up everything's ready to go so i know he's a nervous nelly so we told him just to give a nice easy tip in and uh you know keep it simple not stupid so 
we'll see what he does. All right, you ready? Uh, not really. Well, you don't have to run yet. All you gotta do is drive up there, so. All right, we'll get him pulled up and then we'll uh, have the next step of him He's doing a monster burnout. You guys, we had to shut Jason down. It actually spit the entire mandrel out the front of the crankshaft hub down there. I'll insert a picture here of it, but yeah, that runs the uh, oil pump and alternator, which we don't care about that, but definitely the oil pump. It just spit it out at the end, it looked like. So, hopefully, when she was turning whatever RPM it was, it had oil pressure at the time. So, my turn now. I want to get the GoPros on and head up and get in line. All right, guys, we're going to pull it up the line here. I got the truck up here in line. I'd be lying if I'd say I love it. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous, so hope we do well. Jason uh, threw, like I said, the oil pump valve off, so they're looking at it now. I hope nothing's wrong, but yeah, we got plumber's crack out there just destroying the pad.
All right, guys, after that amazing run, we're down here in the pits. We couldn't get off the track because we were, uh, you know, I think I mentioned before that we were going to have problems with this rear cross member. Yeah, we dug up cleats asphalt a little bit, but. All right, well, we got to get tires changed. I got to go pick up my winning money, but I do think the unfortunate news is I think we developed a tick in the motor. You can hear through the run there. I just listened to it back on my phone and she, she sounded like she was a little down on power. So hopefully it's nothing serious because we got Indy coming up soon. But yeah, we, uh, we definitely cooked some tires and made things happen. So I'm gonna go up, get my money. We're gonna get this loaded up. It just quit raining here. So we got a chance to actually get loaded up quick. But I wanna say thanks to everyone. Say thanks to everyone being SAP Engines, my brother for helping me out, National Machine Repair, Steve Moyle Reynolds, also Divided Bean for the amazing photos, all you guys that helped with the donations to the GoFundMe as well. I know somebody made a comment and we've just been hammered with trying to get things done. I apologize for not thanking you guys, but we seriously, sincerely mean a huge apology, a huge apology, a huge thank you to you guys. Like I said, things have been tough for us, but this, this kind of makes the ride home a little bit better sweet. Um, hopefully nothing's wrong and hopefully nothing's wrong with Jason's after spitting off that oil pump belt. All right. Thank you.